Question 23. Here are the ingredients needed to make 16 gingerbread men. Hamish wants to make 24 gingerbread men. Work out how much of each ingredient he needs. So, if I made this recipe, I would only make 16. If I doubled it, I would get 32. But we want somewhere halfway between those two. Now, the thing that we should notice is that 16 and 24 are both in the 8 times tables. So, if we half this recipe to find out the recipe for, to make 8 gingerbread men, we can triple it to get 24. So, my first step is to half this recipe. So, if I work out how much flour I need to make... 8 gingerbread men 8 gingerbread men and make sure that all of my working out is quite clear so that I don't get lost um, I'm going to start off with flour so if the recipe makes 16 and I want to make 8 I'm going to half the recipe so it's 180 divided by 2 Half of 180 is 90 grams. So I need 90 grams of flour to make a gingerbread man. I'll do this for all of the remaining ingredients. So ginger is going to be 40 divided by 2, which is 20 grams. Butter is 110 divided by 2, which will give me 55 grams. And sugar, being the final ingredient, is going to be 30 divided by 2, which is 15 grams. So these quantities will make 8 gingerbread men. We want 24, so now if we triple this new recipe, times all of those numbers by 3, we'll make 24 biscuits. So, 90 times 3 is same as 9 times 3 times 10, so that's 270 grams. Now I'm going to put that straight away into my solution box here. 270 grams. You may still get the mark because the working out is very clear here, but let's just make sure that all answers go where they've been asked to go. 20 times 3 would be 60, so that's 60 grams of ginger. Butter is going to be 55 times 3. Well, 50 times 3 is 150. 5 times 3 is 15. So that's 165 grams altogether. So butter would be 165. And then 15 times 3 is 45, meaning we get 45 grams of sugar. We have our four answers, and we've shown two steps needed to calculate it, which will give us our full marks.